All right, what is up guys? Jarrett Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Well, as the great Stradman would say, there's nothing quite like delivery day. And this car came about three months sooner than it was supposed to. But here we are, hungover and raining and ready to take delivery of a new car. So, welcome to the most relaxed, laid back car delivery video we've ever done. Enjoy. So it might seem like we're spending ridiculous amounts of money on new cars and well, in one case we kind of are, but it, this particular car will make a lot more sense later on in the video. So please make sure you watch the whole video before you go start blowing us up in the comment section <laughs> below. Um, before we, the car is ready, we're working on some stuff here. Christina just got a new litter box that's called, what is it called? Litter box robot or something. Litter robot. The litter. It's so that if we're tr if we're traveling, yes, we can leave the cats for like two, three days, four days, and they'll be completely fine because yeah. the food's there. Yeah. We just need this to uh -huh. be cleaned. That was kind of one of the one of the deals with moving to Pennsylvania was winter time. Lizzie, we were going to be having to travel because, as you you'll see from the weather later today. It's pretty poopy outside, and it's only gonna get worse. You like, you like to go inside. So then. let's see if, uh, if you'll go inside of that. Let's see if he wants to go, go in into there. the litter box. Go in there. You want to use it? No, nope. nope. he's out. He, hate, he hates it. He doesn't approve of it. Maybe when you put litter, litter in there, in there yeah. it'll change it. But let's get a, a thumbs up for Christina's gorgeous bodysuit. Is that what this is? It is a bodysuit. Yeah. I'm not wearing anything. Let's model this. It, let's but... model this bodysuit. Let's take a look. See here, huh? It's my lazy in the house. This what is a, this is what I have to deal with. Yes. She never puts herself yes. together inside <laughs> the house. If you can't get enough of this beauty, she does have an OnlyFans page. OnlyFans. OnlyFans.com slash Christina Khalil. <laughs> okay. So she's going to try to set up this uh, litter box. And uh, I don't know. I'll let you know whenever we get it sorted what out. Yeah. yeah. This is the current weather situation. It's about 60 degrees and raining not the best day to take delivery of a new car but uh, i think they're going to put it in the showroom and stuff for us so that'll be fun but yeah we don't have much left much t time left with the pool and the hot tub um i think we can leave it open until mm, maybe another month we want to try and have it open until thanksgiving because we can still use the hot tub. Obviously the pool's, the pool's like around 68, 60, so it's pretty much not swimmable. You could do it, but I wouldn't, you know, we don't. But we can still heat the hot tub and use that in the meantime. But um, yeah, not looking forward to winter. We're gonna have to put all this stuff away. The pool will get covered and all that kind of stuff. But um, I can give you guys a quick house update as well. So Christina did do some decorations for fall, which are nice. We have these like fake leaves that run up the banisters. Um, she did like little settings around the house that look pretty cool. I think she actually made these herself. So the only thing that's annoying is Oro tries to play with these so he's constantly, some of them she left loose so he can play with but then he loses them and comes over here and tries to like rip these off. Ones that are glued down so that can be pretty annoying. But um, she did a little decoration things up here as well. That's a nice painting that we got, a fall painting and then we got one for Christmas too. Um, overall, the house has been good. I know people were asking for like a house update. Um, it's been good. There's constantly little things that need fixed and updated, but that comes with home ownership, especially when you have a larger house, there's just gonna be more shit that can go wrong. Um, we did have some issues with some gas leaks. Luckily, they were outside areas coming into the house. They weren't inside the house, um, but the company who fills up our propane tanks took care of all that for us. Um, we do still have issues with the outdoor fire bowls. So uh, my dad and one of his friends are coming over tomorrow actually to work on trying to get those fixed. They're not hooked up right now, which has been a little bit of a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. And then we do have someone coming over tomorrow to look at our garage floors and maybe if I'll keep this vlog rolling so I can kind of show you guys what we're looking at out there in the garages. I know you guys have been looking forward to a garage update, like a dream garage build, and that's gonna be slowly starting here soon. So um, I'm looking forward to that. So I'll show you guys one other thing. We did have um, trees planted way down there. You can see the little guys. A bunch of the trees, about six of the pine trees uh, died. And I guess they weren't planted properly. They still had like caging on them and stuff like that. So our landscaper ripped all of those up. We bought six new ones and planted six new trees. We don't have any neighbors right now, but if anyone ever did 
build a house over there, we'd like to have some privacy. So we want th all those trees to grow kind of like these here so that we have nice privacy anywhere that we are on the property. But um, we've been having a lot of rain and issues with our grass. So we had to turn off the sprinkler system. Um, the lawnmower guys were like literally get, getting stuck in the grass over there. And like it was ripping up the grass and everything. And I think they had to put seed down and reseed stuff. But yeah, it's it's constantly, it's always something. Like I said, when you own a, like a large property, um, luckily we have people who handle that for us. At, at, at first I thought it would be fun to have like a lawnmower and do it myself. but. Whenever I realized it takes two of them on zero turn motors about five hours to mow, every, like that's every week you have to mow, I was like, I don't think I have time for that. So yeah, they're gonna be coming to do like a whole cleanup <clears throat> for winter. So basically chopping down all of our beautiful bushes and stuff in preparation for the, for the, for the winter season. So I'm not looking forward to that. This is the part of Pennsylvania that gets tough because in the winter time, <clears throat> everything will be dead and you'll get cloudy gray skies for like almost like I'd say 50 to 60 percent of the time so that's when it's going to get really hard so we're trying to make use of our nice October weather while we have it before we go into the the winter time all right so update for you guys Oro's still not too sure about this thing <laughs> he's just been watching us from afar Desmo immediately walked in and is digging around in there it's pretty cool it looks like a futuristic bubble it does. He just seems kind of big for that. We'll does he see. seem yeah, big? Yeah, he's like so fluffy. It'll be interesting to see what happens when he takes a shit. Uh huh. And see if it gets him, all over or his does butt. It work? Yeah, that's true. Well, we'll it's see. Shy, Is it pretty much ready to go though? I think so. Okay. I mean, okay. <laughs> he's already pushing stuff out onto the floor. Thanks, oh, bud. Man. Appreciate it. Are we gonna take poop? We're gonna film it, Desi. Are poop We're gonna poop? show you pooping on camera. What are you trying to do? He's not sure what he's doing. He's he has no idea. They're watching it cleaning from Desmo taking a piss earlier. And they're just, they're both so confused. Look at him. That is hilarious. All right, so the car is ready. We can head on over. Uh, I'm very excited. This is the current garage situation. Um, we're missing the Monster 1200, but I do have my Lamborghini Diablo, the V4 SP, which is a giveaway bike. You can check out the Patreon page. It's the first link in the description below if you guys want to be entered to win custom motorcycles. We got Christina C8 Corvette. We got my Audi R8, which is what we'll be taking today since it's raining. And then we have the new 2020 Mercedes AMG GTR Pro. Absolutely love this car. We already have uh, some mods coming for it. Um, we would take the... the the GLE, but uh, that's actually in the shop right now, getting the alignment fixed. So that will be a good thing to have done. Let's get a cold start of the old Audi R8. Oh. oh my God. She's got some presence, that's for sure. All right, we have arrived. Sun Motors, a BMW. The car is just inside right there oh it has a bow on it so let's go in and take a look all right here it is folks brand new 2022 bmw x6 m competition and this is the new car so this is not actually our car this is my mom and brian's new car so wish them a huge congratulations down in the comment section below i think i might have played a small role in this right because he saw all the cars that we got and brian had to one-up me because we couldn't get the 63 so he's the one with the twin turbo v8 right now i believe it's a twin turbo v8 i might have to look this up but it's over 600 horsepower 617 uh-huh 617 horsepower it's basically the same it's it's the direct competition to the mercedes that we got the, the amg gle uh 50 well, it's actually the competition to the 63, um, but look at this thing. So you spec this out. You guys spec this out, right? Yeah. You guys chose this spec? Okay. Yeah. So pearl white. Um, I'm not sure if that's the actual color, but look at all the details. BMW, we were, when we were looking and we couldn't get that Mercedes, we thought about buying one of these. This wasn't supposed to actually come in until December, but somehow it showed up like three months early. So yeah, they, again, they did the pearl white exterior and then they did the red interior. Now the red interior on the Mercedes, I'm not actually a big fan of, but this red interior is really, really nice because it's more like a burgundy than a red. And it comes with a competition package, which are the, all these beautiful seats and details. I'll step inside here real quick 
quick and show you guys some of the rest of these details. Look at this. Look at the stitching on the... This is... Oh, man. This is pretty impressive. And that's the thing, like I said, about BMW. They do such a nice job with all of their little accent pieces, you know? Carbon fiber package. Look at the little M badge on the uh, gear select. They have a nice screen here, very similar to ours. So I think it is 12 inch with another 12 inch here. I believe it has ambient lighting and stuff too. It's kind of too hard to tell right now. A wow, even the seats light up. Look at this, dude. And the seat belts open up the, yeah. Dude, do you see the seat belts, Brian? How they have the, the badging going down the, oh, yeah. the stripe. And then look at your seats, they light yeah, up right cool there. Shit. You see that? Oh no, I didn't see that, dude, that is cool. This is nice, and th these have ambient lighting too, right? Oh yeah, I can see the strip right there. Okay, cool. You'll be able to see that better at night. And then it has. Oh, they have their own climate control back here. Do they really? Something we don't Yeah, do. well, that's because we didn't get the option in our car that we got, you know? Our 63 will have that. Dude, and even their pockets behind their seats are very fancy. How's the uh, room back there? It's nice. I mean, I Similar don't know to ours? Because... Of I where think, the seat the is. Dude, these bad. seats are really, really freaking like nice. The red color. Holy crap. Let's see. Let's see the key. BMW key. I know there's a lot of BMW oh fans God, it looks like a out there. It does. Safety. Look at that. Again, really nice details on stuff from BMW. Really, really cool. So, um, let me show you the back seats real quick, Brian. The, the doors and everything look incredible. So, you know, there's a break in period for this. You can't just go yeah, out by there the and. Time I get to Florida, <laughs> there you go. I was going to say, you can't just go racing me in the R8, bike. bud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's check out the back seats here. It has the pano sunroof as well. This is like really similar to ours. Oh, like, really similar. Yeah, there it is. The rear has its own climate control as well. Actually, I think this is nicer than That's what we what have. Saying, yeah. yeah, this is nicer. These seats are really, really nice. And look, even all that stitching carries through to the back. And I wonder if these, okay, so these are just like ours. You can't move them forward or backwards in the coupe. And did you see this, the little seat belt touch, the M badging that runs across that? Yep, What's same this? as ours. Little storage what? area. These are a cup holders right here. Yeah, we gotta press that button. They come down. Oh my God. And then let's see the storage in the back. Are you excited, mom? I wonder how, okay, so not as cool of an opening as ours where it actually uses the badge, but very similar amount of space as what you have in our car. And um, that's gonna be completely functional. Let's see, does it have a lowering area? I don't think so. You probably have your rear tire under here. Yep, that's where it would go. Got some stuff here. License plate carry and all that. This is really, really nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, this is, this is freaking awesome. Look at that. Powered, yeah, November 18th or 18th, yeah. Wish her a happy early birthday right there. So yeah, look at that, X6M competition. And it's actually pretty cool because they don't split it up on each side, so there's just one badge on the back and it's blocked out with the lettering and then you got the M badging right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. Let's see what the, uh, what the wheels are on this bad boy. Probably 22s would be my guess. 315, 30, 22s, yeah. So 315s on these bad boys. Looks like they got the upgraded brake package as well. Look at that. Look at that big ass M caliper in there. Man, P0 rubber. The wheels are really pretty. I was worried that Brian didn't choose the right wheels. They don't have an all black option like the Mercedes do, but these look really, really nice. I believe that's like machined aluminum uh, with the glossy black, but yeah, overall, absolutely gorgeous spec right here these are really hard to get right now so they're lucky that they got this car as fast as they did so we'll get their first start up and them driving out here in just a second all right first start of the car let's hear how she sounds oh, 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 oh. and he probably has it in comfort mode too look at that dude dude look at the tail lights on that thing 315s look at that puppy hey good purchase folks hell of a purchase yeah damn dude all right so it's raining but i just wanted to show you guys the dash in here he's in sport mode i think track mode right now yeah but um you want to give us a quick rev we can't rev it too much because it's brand new but let's hear how it sounds go ahead oh <laughs> I think that's gonna sound really good once it breaks in. So you gotta keep it under 4,500 RPMs, bud. Okay. So enjoy your new car. <laughs> All right, we'll follow you guys back to the house. All right. So we're just 
sitting down. They didn't have time to go over everything with them today, so that they're gonna do that tomorrow or, or next week with them. But I wanted to kind of mess with it and see. Check this out. This has gestures. So if you want to go forward on song, <laughs> <laughs> you want to go back. That's ridiculous. That's pretty baller, dude. He did cool cup holders it has up here. Um, I, I'm sure you can change like all the dash settings and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what I'm kind of looking at right now. He even has heating steering wheel. Look at the. Because you, you definitely need that in Florida. Florida. I know, right? So M are, are modes that you can set up for yourself. Oh. So remember when we went into the setup here under yes. modes? So they have their basic mode setups, which is road, sport, sport plus track, which changes all of these things here, your engine, mm -hmm. your chassis, your steering. You can make M mode versions. So say you want comfort steering, but you want full on you oh, know, okay. driving gotcha. characteristics or whatever. If you want to change that, you can change, you can it, change it, set them to your M buttons. So mm -hmm. that anytime you want to go in there, you just press one of those and you're in your M, your M modes. All right, so this is my first ride in this bad boy. And um, I gotta say, the dash online doesn't come across. It's a lot nicer in person. It looks really, really nice. The whole setup in here, like I was just saying, like the stitching and the M badging and the stitching around this and all this, like it's, it's a really impressive car. I really, really like it. I think you guys made a good choice with this bad boy. And you should be able to put this thing back somehow too. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to do that in case I... <laughs> Oh, there it is. Right? Look at that. Yeah. That's so cool, dude. Brian said every time he gets out of the seat, he hits his balls off the bolstering. <laughs> hey, first impressions on this, first drive, it's a really nice car. It really makes me want the twin turbo V8 version of ours. Damn it. All right, we're at Outback. We, are, we had a quite a bit of a wait, so we decided to sit at the bar and do what we do best. <laughs> Long Island iced teas, pomegranate, uh, drink for Mama Dukes, congratulations. The car is freaking awesome. You have a better SUV than we do. Wow. Who would have thought that would happen, huh? All right, so we decided we're just gonna do appetizers here, and we're gonna go to, is it Carrabba's? Yep. We're gonna go to Carrabba's instead. So we got some shrimp on the Barbie. Very, very good with some sort of nice little dipping sauce there. We're gonna eat this bad boy up. And then go to... <laughs> All right, so we're heading on out. I just I always like to see the startup sequences. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that. See? Just for you. See? It's only for just, you. I just want to talk to him. I just, I just want to, I just want to shoot him. Perfect. Um, yeah, they told us 25 minutes, and we were sitting there for about 45 minutes, and we just kind of got over it. So let's see. He's still reaching yeah, up Yeah, he's still reaching up there. Button. There it is. Look at it. I'll tell you what, this thing has quite the back. presence. Hey, Third Eye Blind, Jumper, who knows that song? I love that album. So anyway, we're gonna go to Carabas, I believe, and uh, get some more food. And then are we going bowling? Yep. yep. Afterwards? We need the exercise. Jerry Bear's gonna smoke some people in bowling. Actually, I've heard Brian's pretty good, so we might have a, uh, are we gonna do you, you two I'm versus gonna, us two? I'm gonna be all in Is that what we're gonna do? Look at him, he doesn't know how to, he doesn't even know how to put it in gear. He was looking at it like, how do I put this thing in gear? <laughs> all right, we stopped by to say hi to Memers. Look at her in there. Brian Curves. <laughs> I get in this car without busting my nuts. He said I ripped my asshole when I got it. Oh the bolstering. It's these. Look at look at these things, dude. See this thing? They're so high up. Literally, it spreads my asshole open every time I get into this damn car. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to Carabazi. That's why I said I can't right? come here after we eat. There's no way. Guys, look at the clouds right now. This is insane. It looks like freaking. Armageddon in this bitch right now. Doesn't it? I know, this is crazy. So that's where we're going right there. Caraba. Oh, it looks cool. Look at that. Listen, listen. Calm your tits. Or I'm gonna tell them about Mimi's puss towel. Okay, stop. Quiet, edit. Guys, look at what this thing puts on the ground. Look at that emblem. It gives the car wings. Like angel wings. You that see is that? Cool as shit. That's actually really badass. I did not know it did that. And just so you know, I'm not full of shit. It's on both sides. Look at that. Oh, well, it just turned off. <laughs> anyway, we're at Dockside Willys. They just redid this place. This guy still looks freaking insane. We went to like a million different places and there was like 45 minute to an hour waits everywhere. So cross your fingers. Hopefully we can get in here and get some food. All right, well. 
that was uh, over an hour wait. So luckily we put it in our name at Carabas. So we're gonna go back there. It was 45 minutes, but we've been driving around for the past half an hour. So uh, it should work out just about out right when we get back there. You see that, teens? Yeah. It puts wings on the ground. Yeah, I noticed that at the dealership. That is really freaking cool. I Sorry, I wanted to donut. I wanted to grab that for you. I always get it. I always get it for her. I just want to get I just want to get the door. Look at this. We got the mood lighting going in here. It's actually pretty cool. It goes underneath here and it's up here as well. Yeah. And it's, it's at your, though, at your feet too. It's not very bright. Yeah, there's probably a way to adjust all that. that. I just don't know yeah. what that way is. And they got some back here going too. Mood lighting is definitely not at the at the level of Mercedes, but Mercedes is the one that pretty much started it, so that makes sense. Let's hear a little acceleration. Woo! Dude. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, and I can tell you're like barely touching it. I know. Oh, I also have my massaging seat going. They have massaging seats in here. Not a bad place to be. All right, I just found out something else. Check this out, volume. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, so we ended up here at Carabas. They finally, no, no, not Carabas. I'm sorry, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Dude, we've been to so many places I can't even keep track anymore. We're at Gilligan's. I got a Moscow Mule. We got a Long Island iced tea. What do you have? Regular iced tea. Regular iced tea. And we just ordered an appetizer, so cheers, cheers everyone to the cars. Yes. All right, so we also have to wish a major congratulations to these two. They were high school sweethearts, then they were separated for many years, and both of them came back together at the same time. And now they're very happy together, and I'm, I, I'm really happy for them. And Brian just surprised my mom with a beautiful early birthday present. You can see that puppy right there. A car and a ring, what a yeah, day. Yeah, that is. Jared, step up your game. I know, <laughs> I know, right? Thanks, Brian, appreciate it. Jeez yeah, Louise. But anyway, wish them a congratulations in the comment section below. Brian, we appreciate you. Okay, and mom, congratulations, yeah. That's definitely worth so cheersing. So Look at that, <laughs> cheers. Enjoy life while you can, guys, it goes fast. All right. Uh, salads have arrived. We also got a little appetizer of what is this spinach artichoke type dip? Crab and spinach. Crab and spinach dip. It smells like vagina, but it tastes amazing. Oh my God, oh. <laughs> I got a garden side salad with balsamic vinaigrette. Christina got the same thing, except no onions and ranch. Mama Duke's got pretty much the same thing as me. Uh, I am your son. I got bread. And Brian's doing bread. Bon appetit. Food has arrived. We're actually both splitting the same dish which is uh, shrimp and scalloped, what is this? Scampi. Scampi, that's right. Over rice pilaf. Over rice pilaf with some tomatoes and she just put some lemon on it with, along with the other one she dropped on the floor no, down there. No oh, they saw it, they saw it. So that's what we're having. All right, so I left my camera in their car last night so I wasn't able to film anything else but honestly that's pretty much all I had for the vlog so um, go and wish my mom and Brian a huge congratulations on their brand new uh, BMW X6M competition the thing is freaking awesome um, let me know what you guys think of this versus our Mercedes um, it's definitely I think better than the Mercedes that we have right now for one giant reason it has a twin turbo V8 so when we get our 63 next year um, that will be the competitor to this guy but yeah, I think that's just about it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big juicy thumbs up. Let us know if you want us to do more vlogs like this. We really enjoy doing them. Um, I've got some uh, other stuff coming. The new car we just picked up, I wanna share on my channel in case you guys haven't seen it. And um, I think that's it for now. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next it's one. It's so cool. Peace, it is. <laughs>